I'm a dual instructor. I teach American Heart, CPR, and I also teach Red Cross. Hi, I'm Tim Durbin. We're here at Snow Trails. I've been on ski patrol since 2006 here. We have some of the best patrollers, a lot of dedicated people. We work hard, and we play hard. I think that's what a lot of volunteering is. I mean, you need to have a good time. She said It's the first time they've had the big air competition over on the main hill, doing all kind of inverted aerials, all the stuff you see on the X Games, all that stuff right here in Mansfield going on. You know, when the call comes in, they ended up shutting down, so all the patrollers, everybody could go over and, and assist. Then they, over here was also all the judges. We had like six or eight judges judging the jumps and everything. Then you had numerous photographers all over. They had video cameras set up on top of the jumps. And then, you know, we really couldn't see the person from where, our, where we were because of the people. You know, once the call came in, we knew where to go and away we went. I'm a member of the Mountain Rescue Association, Snow Trail Ski Patrol, NASAR, SARTEC-1, Search and Rescue Technician. I like to defy gravity. I like to have a lot of fun on ropes. Uh, I like to hang upside down, a lot of rappelling and stuff like this, rock climbing. You know, we have some serious times, a lot of training. Everything requires a lot of training, a lot of time, but it's worth it. And he, he looked in his eyes, I looked in his eyes too, and he said he'll never ever forget the look in his eyes. After we log rolled him over, you know, I was checking for, for breathing, checked for vitals, checked for uh, carotid pulse on his neck. Just the look in his eyes. I had to take my ski helmet off so I could get down and look, listen, and feel for any air. And just the look in the eyes was something a lot of us will never forget. Um, checked for a carotid pulse, found none, went ahead and opened up his clothing and started compressions. I wear a patrol vest with all my first aid and medical gear in it. You look at the statistics, you know, a lot of them, a lot of them don't live of all this stuff hanging on you. You have a great big radio hanging right here that, that's just constant radio chatter carrying on from you know trying to get the squad arranged, get our patrollers here, get gear up the hill, uh, figure out how we're gonna get down the hill. We gotta get a snowmobile and a toboggan over here. Um, you know, there's a lot of logistics just to get them off. And then we had the Baba people down at the bottom of the hill. We had to clear a path through there just to be able to get over to the squad on the other side of the buildings. You know, you just take over, you just, you get tunnel vision. You just start in doing compressions and you just focus on doing the compressions and a lot of them fast. When you're doing these things, time stands still. I know there's a lot of motions afterwards, after everything was over with, uh, even though we found out he was gonna be okay. There's a lot of people saved every day, every year. I teach a lot of CPR, a lot of first aid. Was everything right? Was everything done? Yeah, you just lay there, psychoanalyze. It takes two years of training to become a ski patroller. And the training basically never stops. I'm not really a hero. Our 